Hi everyone, I'm Ben. I'm part of the elementary math team in Washoe County, and I'm also a dad. This is Ryan. Hi. He's a fourth grader, and he has agreed to show us how he logs into Envision from home. We've had lots of questions from students and parents about the best way to do that, and so I thought we could do a quick tutorial with Ryan on how to log into Envision from home. So I'm going to give Ryan the mouse. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, and he's going to take over. And the first thing you'll notice is that we're starting from the Washoe County School District website, and we always look for the use the student parent tab, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he'll click there, and then he's going to look for Envision Mathematics. There it is. That brings us to the big blue sign-in bar. Okay, hang on before you click that. If you look underneath the big blue sign-in bar, there's a reminder there. If you forget how to enter the username and password, you can look there because as soon as you click this, you're going to have to sign in. Uh, here, I'm going to show him something. Right here. There are two different ways you can sign in with the username. The first one is with the Washoe, the slash student ID number, or student ID number at washoeschools.org. The password, that's unique for every student, and they set that at school. And if that needs to be reset, you'll have to contact the school for that. Okay, so we're going to go back. Okay, Ryan, go ahead and sign in. Okay, so Ryan's going to enter his student ID number. And then he asks me to help him with this part sometimes because sometimes spelling at washoeschools.org is tough. And if you misspell it, you never get in, huh? Yeah, like if you spell Washoe with an A. Yeah, that's right. So now he's going to enter his password. He won't tell me what his password is. So this part's all him. Okay, go ahead and click sign in. And that'll bring us to the EasyBridge site first. And so from here you can see things like the grade level, but what, we're, what we are really looking for here is the Savas Realize over on the right hand side. Second button down. Can I click it now? Go ahead. And that'll bring us to Ryan's personal homepage for Envision. Which one should I click first? All right, will you click on classes first? Most of the time, our students will go to classes first because that is where they will find their assignments. So right here I see that Ryan has three assignments that are not started. He has zero in progress and he's got two that are completed. Don't click on that because we'll see your scores. Um, over here on the right hand side in classes, you can always find the student's workbook, the e-text. You can also find the Game Center, the glossary, and math tools. Okay, go back out to your homepage. So click on the Savasa Realize again. And will you click on the Browse? So something that will be helpful at home for students and parents is you have access to a lot of the lesson materials right here. And so just go ahead and click on Topic 1, Ryan. Okay. So when he's in Topic 1, we can see all of the lessons in here. And so if there's a lesson our students are working on, we can go and find some materials from that lesson. For example, we can find the student workbook. We can find the solve and share that starts the lesson the visual learning animation, but we can also find the Another Look video. And those are really great for parents and students to watch together because they go through the lesson and give you a pretty good idea of what that lesson is about. Yeah. So that's a quick tutorial on how to log in. I hope you find it helpful. Bye.